you know, t talking about the Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy J7V, and I want to show you what I used to disable the uh, apps that came with it, the bloatware apps, and what I did was I found this uh, thing called Package Disabler Pro. I did a search online and I found it, and then I had... When I installed it and tried to use it, it made me install this PDP engine, which is Package Disabler Pro Engine. I think this came from the Play Store. I'm not sure that this one did. But anyway, here's what it does. <coughs> it looks up all your applications and any ones that you want to not see that can't be uninstalled, like all the ones that came with your computer, you could check it and then th that disables it. See, like I have my caller name ID disabled, the cloud disabled. I'm not using that scrap. If I do, I, if I want to use it in event, you know, in the future, when I try to use it, it's just going to install it. So it's not a problem. I got this Duo uh, <coughs> Galaxy Essentials widget. I don't want to see this crap. I don't need this stuff. Google Play Movies and TV, Google Play Music. I use all that on YouTube. Health service, what am I going to do with that? Right? Launcher. Oh, that's the emergency launcher. If you need it, it's going to install right away. Like, as soon as you try to use something that you disabled, it's going to install it. So, you know, stuff like NFL Mobile. What do they think? I like football? I like fixing things. So anyway, this is a way to disable bloatware without rooting your your. Uh, see now, I had themes disabled, Samsung themes, and I clicked on it by accident, and it re went to reinstall it. So it's unchecked. So I'm going to check it again. Slacker radio. I have my own radio program, and as you've seen in my other video, this this has its own built-in radio, right? Support and protection. I don't need their support. Talk back. I tried talk back. I couldn't get to shut up. Disabled. What else? Rise and store demo mode. We don't need that. VZ navigator. Bullshit. Weather. Anyway, you can see all your apps in here. Disable what you want. Do it at your own risk, of course. And that's about it. So let's see what other options it has here. You can disable all bloatware, so it knows which ones are bloatware. <coughs> and then you can sh hit show all disabled. And it'll just show me all the ones I have checked. And you can see all the ones I have checked. And then if you want to see what's not disabled, you can show show installed or show system. And it's a pretty decent app. Just find it online like I did. If you need help, click there. And this tells you what's what's going on. App and name in black could disable if you are sure. App name in magenta is bloatware, safe to disable. Package name in blue, enabled package. Package name in red, disabled package. Package name in light green, installed apps. So that gives you a, a good uh, good directions for how this is set up. So anyway, you just hit the back button, go back, and now you can see what, what they were talking about. Okay. So if we want to see what magenta is, that means it's bloatware. Safe to disable. Hit the back button. See, this purple crap is all bloatware. Yeah, no wonder I got it all disabled. Let's see. Let's show installed. Yeah. Open it up again. See now we can look and we can see 
What is the bloatware with the purple? Safe to disable. I'm going to disable that. I don't know what the hell that is. See now. I do know what this is. This is the internal antenna that I showed you. Even though that's bloatware, that's inside here. So I'm going to undisable that one. So I'm going to leave these antennas because I'm using that radio. So now what else we got here? BBC agent. We don't need no BBC agent. Beacon manager. What's that? Basic daydreams. We don't need that neither. Let's see what else we got. This bloatware. Choco cookie. Yeah, I need that. Like I own that. Color adjustment. I'll leave that. Partner bookmarks now. Shared storage backups. Wallpaper cropper. Give me a break. There one that says show me all bloatware. Disable all bloatware. So if you do that, it says recommended to take backup before using this feature. So I'm going to just cancel that. But anyway, you get the idea. I don't need no email provider. I got my own email provider. So anyway, that's how to disable all your bloatware. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to show you how to get it into uh, developer mode. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. And we're going to go down to the bottom. We're going to go to About Phone. And we're going to scroll down. And when we see Build Number, what we're going to do is tap on that seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, now this is telling me it's already on. But seven times hit that Build Number and go back. And you'll see your developer options are, are uh, ready. So you click on that, and you can turn them on or off. So I guess after you use what's in here, you could leave it set and then turn it off. So your uh, settings won't interfere with your use of your phone if you're just trying to work on an app or whatever. And you can see all the different settings. USB configuration anyway all these settings are you know as I said for developers so use them at your own risk don't just use these willy-nilly see we can take a look at interactive apps which is most of mine. Or that, that must mean ones that aren't running right now. So anyway, you see it. See if we you show touches. And it leaves a little dot every time I touch the screen. See it? So you can get an idea of how your stuff is working. I don't like that anyway. That's neat. Show pointer location. Anyway, there's all different things you could do with this. Like I said, use it as your, at your own risk. One of the uh, things you'll want to use if you're going to uh, you know, if you're going to root your system, 
I haven't found a way to root this yet, but you'll be able to turn your USB debugging mode on here. Okay, and uh, that'll let you use uh, ADB, hook it up to your computer. So anyway, that's it for developer options. How to turn them on on your Verizon Galaxy. Samsung Galaxy J7V. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have anything you want to know about the J7V, leave it in the comments and I'll try to put up a little video for you. So don't be shy, don't be afraid to ask. I'm willing to help. Thanks for watching.